Hey guys, Eugene Cousins here. Welcome back to the channel. All right, so today I'm going to be talking about power attack. Those of you that watched my uh, one of my previous videos about five months ago, where I attempted to finish this video or this topic, um, would remember that I did a tree landing because I ran out of fuel. So if you want to watch, if you haven't watched that video, you want to see a power motor doing a rest of cable landing in the trees, then just go back in history and. Um, watch that video. So today we have 1001 subscribers. Uh, thanks to all of you that have subscribed. Obviously I'm taking my time to gather those subscribers. <laughs> I, you know, uh, the making the YouTube videos is no benefit to me, but uh, it is a source of information for those, those uh, fans that want to watch a bit on the Dudek range or uh, on the Nirvana range. All right, uh, let's get back on topic with the power attack. Uh, power attack has become quite a fundamental, I would say, element in the sales of something like the Dudek Warp. Now, the Dudek Warp 2 is a very well designed and thought through combination of elements that's, wor that's worked into the design. That's very important to remember that it's got a combination design. Um, and one of the elements that is uh, that, that's become very popular is the power attack. Now what is it? So if you're going to look in the Dudek manual it'll say that the power attack is utilizing the full speed range of the trimmers um, through the speed bar and if you think about that it kind of sounds like you are open you know somehow the buckles are auto opening and closing on the trimmers but i promise you there's no little midget that is opening and closing it for you there's also no auto trimmers or fancy other systems it's just basically a set of pulleys that are situated in such a way that if you push the speed bar, uh, the pulleys will close in on each other and you will actually close on the, the, the trimmer line set. So the trimmers will, will, will slack up and you, um, you are basically accessing all the speed. So you can keep the trimmers closed and just fly with the speed bar and just, you know, utilize the various ranges of speed by just uh, back, you know, going on or backing off the speed bar. So that's quite a kind of nifty um, element to have. Now, in combination with the TST toggles that are made for cross country, you could be on the bar and do directional input while being on the speed bar. And that makes things very cool to, makes the whole wing very cool to use. Uh, just, you know, I think it's also very important for me to mention that you're not getting 100% of the wing speed or the trimmer speed through the speed bar. There's some uh, misconceptions about how much speed you are getting. You're actually, with my test that I've done, I get 96% of the trim speed, of the full speed range of the wing uh, through the speed bar. Uh, I've heard, I haven't flown the, the free ride 2, but uh, something like the Ozone free ride 2 will give you something like 75%, but you can correct me in the comments on that. It's not 100%, I'm not 100% sure, but I do know that you do not get 100% or close to 100% on something like the free ride. Um, but you guys can post a comment on that, I'm not 100% sure. Um, Alright, so how would you use the power attack in practical terms? The first use would be if you're flying cross country and it's progressing into the day and there's thermals, there's a lot of wind uh, playing in, uh, coming into play and you're flying most of your flight with the speed bar on because you're trying to penetrate through the strong wind, um, then you can stay on the speed bar all the way to the LZ and slowly back off it as you are coming into land. Now keep in mind, I would have closed my trimmers long before getting in or coming in for the landing. So as I back off the speed bar, the trimmers are actually tightening up and it lands on where um, the buckle is closed uh, in the closed position. So I'm literally just backing off. It's like, it's like having a really good disc brakes on, on a fast car where you're just pushing on the brakes and you're putting your feet down. So I'll illustrate that with a flight uh, so you can see what I mean. Uh, second way that it's practically used is for guys that like to do the acro flying, um, some tight turns, and you're coming out of a turn. Now normally you would bleed that energy off in a tight turn, um, otherwise you will balloon. So you step on the bar in order to maintain altitude as you come out of that turn. That is if you're trying to exit that tight turn in a certain direction. So those of you that haven't, haven't watched my Warp 1 asymmetrical collapse, go back in history of a couple of years, uh, you'll see the Warp 1 taking an asymmetrical collapse coming out of a turn because the one thing that you do not do is hold on to the brakes while you step the bar. And I was holding on too long to the brakes when I stepped the bar to come out of that turn. 
All right, so the power attack is quite nifty with that because you'll be doing your turns as you should with the buckle closed and you can play as much as you want. As you come out of the turn, you'll step on the on the power attack and so you'll maintain altitude easier. It's a it's a very nice system. Now a normal system would just be pushing on the on the on the leading the, the push the leading edge down by pulling on the A riser lines. So it pulls the A, it pulls the leading edge forward. Um, and that's how you you accelerate but this is a different system utilizing those pulleys all right uh, the third use of it would be if you are trying to if you're approaching an LZ from the wrong direction um, and you're trying to get onto the ground quicker for any reason such as the speed run cup where you, it really the seconds count uh, that and going into a circuit is wasted time so if you're approaching an LZ from the wrong direction you could just blow past it right over the LZ with your speed bar on and then use that energy that I was talking about by just dumping the speed bar holding the brake and doing a stall turn swishing back into the landing spot um, obviously you know uh, practice this at higher altitudes before you just try and do it but that is one way of coming in for landing in the correct wind direction without wasting time to fly or, uh, circuits all right guys these are the three different ways i'm going to be doing a bit of flying showcasing some of those um, and if you've got any questions post them in the comment page and i'll get to them um, and i'll be seeing you in the next one all right here we go I've got my trim set to landing, I'm putting my brakes away, slowing the brakes, going over to full speed bar and accelerating and turning at the same time. If something goes wrong now, I don't think the reserve shoots my wrist in the same way as you see I can hold on to the brakes with the tip steering here and maintain the climb the right now I'm climbing. Ready for landing. Come on, get down, get down, get down, get down. There we go, there we go. And switching off. Alright, guys, I'm gonna simulate the stall turn. So, in actual, you know, how this will play out is if I'm approaching from that direction, but I obviously cannot land downwind, so I'll be passing. Uh, with using uh, power attack, doing the stall turn, which is letting go of the speed by using that energy to turn around and get more effectively into this LZ or quicker into this LZ. Let's get cracking. Brakes! Jeez! No brakes! There you go. And dump it! Oof, almost a good collapse. I'm fine. And because I'm so close to the field, I can just bring it in. Obviously this is a lot more dangerous if you've got so many high trees, but you guys get the point. This wind is so strong, it's pretty much just going to be a helicopter landing. Oof, that's a lot of wind. Oh, it's a lot of wind. And dumping it. Hey, stay, stay closed. Come on, come on, come on, stay closed. There we go, there we go. <laughs> I can't get this Bronco to die. Come on, go down. Okay, here we go. I'm approaching the field, the LZ from the wrong direction. Okay, not on the brakes and going to speed bar. 
just fix this camera a little bit. A lot of energy. And dumping in three, two, one, dump, good. Sit her down. Smooth as a baby's butt. Alright, that's the swish landing. 